Well guys, uh, I noticed a video there I done up on the uh, Kenwood TK760H and there seems to be an awful lot of people interested in programming of that radio. So once again, this is another video I'm going to do on the 760, which is her there. Um, the 760H is a 25 watt mobile radio. As you can see, 760H. The 760H, you need the KPG29D uh, Kenwood programming software to program the radio with. Uh, you can download that online. There's lots of sources for that uh, for that program. But uh, first, I'm going to see if I can get this old Toshiba 490 CDT to boot up. Um, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've ran this computer. Let's see. Let's see if she'll even boot up. Oh, there you go. And battery's dead, but I don't care about it. It don't matter. Hit it, and yes, I'm sure. Whatever, just boot up. <laughs> and uh, the operating system we're running on this computer is Windows 98, as you can clearly see on the screen. Let's just exit that. Let her boot up. Once she's all booted up, loaded up, I'll be right back with you here, guys. Alright, so the next step we'll do, we have to start the program, which is the KPG29D software. So we'll just click that, open up the folder that's in, and click the program. <laughs> Press any key, start. There we are. The first thing you always got to do is set up your COM port. In my case, it's COM1. This thing defaults to COM1 anyway. So, what we want to do here is read what's on this dirt radio. Uh, uh, Mommy boss, it's been a while since I've used uh, DOS. <laughs> Let's see. Want that? No, I don't want that. We want. Want to go up to oh, there we go. Yeah, that's right. So the model is seven sixty G. So you select your model. I'm going to uh, program and read from radio. Hopefully my programming cable still works. It's uh, been a while, but we shall see. And would you believe it? Still works. Done reading the radio. Press any key. So here we go. This are the frequencies that are in it. We have uh, 146520, which is simplex. 146940, which is uh, VO1GT repeater. Yeah, 147060, I believe that's VO1NTV. And 147345 with a 100 hertz encode tone, which is VO1RCR. So, there we go. It's uh, quite easy to, to program whatever you want into these, as long as the VHF and we're going to band later the radio. So let's just put in 144.390. That would be APRS. Um, obviously there's no tone associated with it. Um, there's no IDs. I could put busy on this, turn busy on or off if I wanted to. Uh, power is high, we'll turn it to low. Uh, the rest of these, turn them all low. Don't need high power. ID, but that, uh, that doesn't work anyway. So, yeah. So, anyways, we got the 
390. So we go back up, press your Alt key, put your back up on top, and then you click right. Then you click OK or Enter. This program in the info. And there you go. That's the programming for the uh, 760H radio. It, is, it even has test mode where you can adjust your power and sensitivity and stuff. Channel. Uh, as you can see in your screen, there's a bunch of different uh, settings and stuff we could change here. But, uh, yeah. Your tuning mode is a bunch of um, settings that the computer is able to adjust for you. But um, most of these I wouldn't bother with unless you have a proper service monitor. Because you could pretty much mess up your radio. So yeah. So I wouldn't do any of that. Say so your key assignments where you can change your settings. As you got your four buttons on the front of your radio, one, you got that one, two, three, four. You can set them four up for whatever you want. Right now, I got monitor key set up for monitor, the A key, I can set that up for whatever I want. Monitor, talk around, pretty much whatever you want. And uh, how I select that, I'm using my space key on my uh, computer keyboard to change the settings. Sometimes on our newer radios, only a particular certain buttons will do. Uh, will give you the, uh, what you want. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So the, uh, the next thing people have been asking me about is programming this uh, 760H. Um, they've asked me about the programming cable. They want to know what I use for the programming cable and how I program it. Not really how, but I just showed you how with the computer. But a lot of people wanted to actually see the programming cable that I use, where I got it, and uh, modifications that had to be done to the cable in order to get it to work. Uh, originally, I bought the cable off eBay. Uh, it's just a DB9 to uh, to RJ well, Cal 45. But I know it's not. It's a six-pin uh, network plug. Uh, the 45, the RJ 45 has eight pins, obviously, but this one here only has six. And um, the the actual interface uh, board is on the COM port on that part of it. So I'll show you some uh, some mods that had to be done with that to uh, to make that board work. And at this point, I'd like to thank uh, Jedi for helping me uh, modify that board in order to get it to work properly. Because uh, bought off eBay, it doesn't work. It just will not work without modifications. So please stand by. Okay, so this here is the programming cable that I'm using. Again, it's a six-pin uh, plug. That fits the fits the radio. Uh, I got a USB uh, cable put on this uh, because this board requires five volts to operate. Um, the 760H don't supply five volt, so I get five volt from the USB port on the radio, which I fed in onto the board. So I guess next thing you want to see is what's inside that to make that work. Well, let's remove the tape here, and uh, I'll show you what modifications or whatever had to be made to the circuit board inside. Alright guys, this is a look on the inside of the programming interface. There's a few modifications have changed, and I call this just the power side. So of course you take your 5 volts from your USB port, put it on voltage positive, your ground on negative, you add that resistor, 
um, between ground and that deer trace and you also have to jump her out pins uh, 5, 6 and 7 on the uh, DB9 connector so make sure you do those, solder those together and then on the other side of the board if you do another modification you have to add a jumper between uh, 1 and 4 make sure you do that jumper you have to cut a trace over in this corner to eliminate the capacitor there and that should be it because it, uh, it does work as you've seen and the circuit board is a CM120620 12620 DB9 so there you go once again the chip right here it gets its power from the USB port on the radio which is 5 volt and again the uh, radio cable it has 6 pins so yeah easy anyways I hope this video was a little bit uh, help you a little bit more understanding the uh, the cable and uh, how to program it and if there's anything else you need let me know in the comments below and I'll uh, answer whatever questions I can about the uh, Kenwood 760G or 760H rather anyways so great all the best